let's talk about this tournament coming up. Big one for you guys, finishing out this fall season, trying to hit your stride as you finish it out. Uh, some great competition down there, too. Just talk about this upcoming tournament for you guys. Well, this is a fun tournament for us. This is uh, one of the best college events in the country. And it's got one of the best fields. And it's on a golf course that has a lot of a lot of mystique, kind of coolness to it. A lot of tour players live down at Isleworth, and it's a very exclusive community. So it's it's one of the college events that's, that's in high demand to the teams. And with this field, it gives us a chance to play against the best teams in the country again and finish out our fall and see if we can finish on a good note. And you personally, big honors coming your way as far as the Hall of Fame induction. What, has it hit you yet? What's it feel like to say, you know, I'm, I'm a Hall of Famer? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's pretty cool. I talked to the PGA today about some questions about it, and I'm starting to get my thoughts together. And it, it, is, it is a pretty cool thing. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm very humbled and very lucky to, to be a part of that thing. And uh, to go into it with some great players is going to be fun. And I think, I was telling people earlier, I think it's, you know, it's just not playing for me. It's just not coaching. It's a combination of the two. And uh, there's been a lot, a lot more better players than me over the years out of Illinois. But uh, you know, when you when you combine what we've done professionally, golf-wise, along with coaching, it's been a pretty good combination. And I think it's been a good combination for me. It's it's been something that uh, has helped me be, uh, you know, enjoy both. And when you enjoy both, when you enjoy what you're doing, you're going you're going to do well at it. The golf program here is so well known, so well respected. What has it done for you as both a golfer and a coach, you know, moving forward in your life? Well, it's given me a lot of pride. We've worked hard at this thing. We still work hard at it. You know, we've had a recruit on campus today talking about the same thing. And um, it's 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 who we are. We put a lot of time and energy and a lot of uh, a lot of work into this program and it's great to have the kids on the team come back and are, are you know, when they go to tournaments and they go play summer events to carry that pride and that that uh, sense of accomplishment with them. And, uh, you know, I was thinking today, you know, back to that, to that Hall of Fame thing, I mean, I'm thinking the first few teams we had here when we didn't have a name recognition or people didn't know much about our team, we didn't have a great body of work behind us. This is 12, 13 years ago. For those kids, those first two or three or four years of recruiting classes that come to campus here and help build this thing was pretty special. And a big thanks needs to go to those guys for helping us start this thing. These guys are playing well. It's been a good five, six, seven year run now. But back then, they were laying the foundation of it. And for those guys to come here and have trust and faith in us that we were going to do something and try to build something special, that's pretty cool. And those kids, uh, those guys, now men, you know, having, having successful lives themselves, probably deserve a lot of credit. How, how do you evaluate the fall? As you you know, head into the last tournament, a couple of wins under the belt. How would you evaluate what the team has done so far? Well, I think it's been a success, but we also know as a team that uh, in golf, you're only as good as your last event, and things change in a week. You know, we talked about the other day about tour players on tour, and one guy wins on Sunday night. He's celebrating. Come Monday morning, nobody cares again whether he won or not. You know, they're all ready to get it the next week. So that's kind of the mentality you have to have. And for us to have the last two events, shoot the scores we shot the last two events, and break some long-standing records in our program was pretty neat. But um, we also realized that this next event is a whole different golf course, a whole different type of golf, and a strong field. So um, we got to regroup and come back and play. And that's a learning thing we're going to learning curve we're going to have to figure out because you know we've played well. These guys feel good about themselves. They're proud of what they've done, and we're going to see if they can put that behind them and still come out the next time because. Nobody here this week at all is going to care what we did last week. What's the biggest difference from the course at Yale to the course they're going to be facing this weekend? Everything. It's the total antithesis of Yale. I mean, Yale was soft and short and, and uh, some difficult greens, but they were slower. Isleworth's going to be firm and fast, Bermuda grass, um, long golf course. It's going to be totally different. And how have you been preparing differently this week? It's hard to do that around here, but we've done some stuff on the greens and tried to tried to emulate as much as we can, but it's difficult when you're going to a different grass, a whole different type of golf course. So it's going to be it's going to be a challenge for us. We're going to have to play well to finish, to have a decent finish. And um, do you consider this like a preparation for the NCAA championships in the spring? Yeah, I, I mean, I, I, some of the teams that are going to be here, obviously, are going to be at the finals, but um, we consider every day we go play, every day we practice or compete, a preparation for NCAAs. Every day you go out, you're learning something new, practicing, preparing.